<laughs> Your manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John Krim. Oh, John Krim. Terry H. Oh, Glenn. Brother Glenn, you step right back and collect yourself a prize. Oh, and I said Tammy Ross already. All right, Zach. Should we wait till mom sits down? Maybe. Just kind of. Yeah. She's back there. She can't pick. While she's taking her sweet time, I can at least uh, share. Uh, Christmas. I love Christmas. I've always loved Christmas since since I can remember. But I don't know people get lonely and I guess kind of burnt out on Christmas. It gets stressful, you know. You have to deal with a lot, and some people just don't enjoy Christmas. And I was thinking this year, what what is there in Christmas really that that should make you feel hope and happy and not just uh, sentimental for no reason? And I was reading the Christmas story of Jesus' birth, and it struck me when Jesus was born. You know, he was born in this this stable. He was born in a trough, and there's nobody there but his mom and dad. There's no midwife, nothing. And the only people that knew that Jesus was being born, other than his parents, were shepherds. A, a huge crowd of angels went to the shepherds, praising God before their eyes. The shepherds were, were some of the lowliest people at that time. And people didn't respect shepherds. And it just struck me that, that when Jesus, the Son of God, was being born, nobody important knew. It was the low, unimportant people that didn't think they mattered. And a lot of us feel like that sometimes, that we don't matter, that, that there's no hope. But God made a point to say that it's you who feel like you're hopeless and lonely that I love and that I've come to give a second chance to. And that just, it, it almost made me cry. So I hope that encourages you. It's not Christmas anymore, but, but just to know that God cares about you even if you don't think anyone else does. Say 
sanctuary from the monster killing me inside. If I live, if I die, I can't find a reason why. Someone save me from this fight inside before I close my eyes. Oh, is my enemy inside forever? Life and death can never My eyes will finally open wide Rising with my last breath I'll feel the scars burn up inside When I stand above the weight, the sound of war will be raised. For the one who fought beside me will be singing in its place. Is my enemy inside forever? Faith and fear together intertwined. Oh, is your soul to me a sanctuary from the monster killing me? If I live, if I die, I still have a reason why Someone saved me from the fight inside Before I close my eyes Is my enemy inside forever Life and death can never reconcile If I live, if I die, I'll be fine to reason why Keep me alive until I lose the fight inside. Uh, this next one is is a cover. I figured y'all probably be tired of me now. You want to hear something good? Uh, this is this is a song by Disciple, uh, one of my favorite bands. Uh, they come here to the cup once in a while, and uh, they they have a lot of really hard hitting rock music, which is my jam. But they have some really really sweet ballads, uh, and this one is really just self explanatory. I'm just gonna sing it and, and let it go. Let it go, 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 let it go. <laughs> this this song is called uh, Just at the Right Time. <laughs> really? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just at the right time 
time God comes crashing in Oh, just at the right time I'm saved by His hand Just when I thought all hope was lost and This would be the end There was God Just at the right time Swallowed by the clouds And the darkness closes in all around And I'm pretty sure there's no way But he'll make a way somehow and Just at the right time Oh, God comes crashing in This wouldn't be the end There was God Just at the right time Oh, oh, oh. God will make a way Even when it seems there is no way With God it's never too